What's the key to creating better connections on video? That's what we're going to talk about in today's episode. Hey, what's up, my friends? This is Todd Falcone. Uh, Welcome back to this episode where we're talking about how to create better connections on video uh, by, you know, look, I'm giving you amazing eye contact right now. I'm sure you feel so incredibly connected to me right now because I'm clearly not looking into your eyes, right? <laughs> look, I, I did a video about this maybe a month, month and a half ago. This last week, I saw like a half a dozen people doing Facebook Lives and doing other videos where they're just... You, they're, 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 they're losing any connection to their audience. You guys need to, look, here's the thing, pay attention to what, what I'm gonna share with you. If you haven't heard this message from me before, hear it today. If you gotta take notes on it, if you gotta make it painfully obvious, put a big red circle around it, highlight it, arrows to it, whatever you have to do until you get this. Uh, it's just like, I didn't think I was gonna do this video again, but after this last week, I'm like, really? There's all these people that are like, if you're going to do a video, if you're going to do a Facebook Live, if you're going to do a Zoom, if you're going to do something where you're, you know, trying to get a message out to an audience, you have to be looking into the camera lens. You have to be looking into the camera lens because we've heard the phrase, the the eyes are the windows to the soul. How, How many of you trust somebody that's like you're talking to them and they're like, they're looking everywhere around. They're, they're looking everywhere, but they never look at you. They never look you in the eye. We're, we're always like, those people are sketchy, man. That's like the guy, he can't, even, he can't even look at you. He's looking everywhere. He's looking and it's like, where are you looking, man? Look at me, okay? So when we're doing video in particular, and this is obviously goes for in person. Like if you're sitting with a person and you're having a conversation, Eye contact is crucial. And, it's, and the interesting thing is giving eye contact isn't that hard because you're looking, well, it, it is more difficult for some people, but it's, it's not hard because you have eyes to look at, okay? And here's the thing. This is the important thing that you need to understand. When you're doing a selfie video in particular or you're doing a Zoom video, okay, your eyes are not at the lens, okay? Now, if we, if we put like two eyeballs, like one on the left side of the lens and one on the right side of the lens, maybe that would help. I don't think we need to do that. You just need to habitualize, like instead of me looking down here, which is where all the people are on Zoom and having the conversation there because I can see the eyes there. I can see my eyes. I can see their eyes. I can see all the bodies down here uh, because m- most people are doing this on a laptop computer and the, the, the lens is here and then the people are here, so we do this. And, I, and, and, it, and here's the thing, I, I teach this, I do this, and, and I'll even give you an example. It's more difficult for me to do it because of my camera setup, because the truth is, I'm shooting this video on a DSLR camera that's sitting on a tripod in front of me. My computer screen is here. So if I'm on a Zoom, which I'm on a Zoom very frequently, the people are over here. So how weird would this be if I'm sitting here having a conversation with you and I'm seeing you here in front of me over here, but your faces might be there, but you're gonna feel more connected to me as if I'm giving you eye contact rather than me going over here and looking here, okay? You follow me? So it's, it, it's natural to be pulled down on a selfie video on, you know, on this thing, right? It's not because the, the, the camera lens is up here at the top and what the reflection of ourselves is down below. So I see it all the time. And it's just, and, and if, you, if you hear me and then you watch videos, you're gonna see so many people doing this and it's just like they're staring down. It's like they're looking down here and this is not eye contact. So the, the, the places that we see it are on selfie video uh, or on Zoom. Those are the two primary primary places that it, this occurs. And this is a problem. If you're doing video and you're trying to create a connection with your audience, you're losing the connection because people can clearly feel like you're, it's just like, 
you're missing them. You're, I'm here. Not, no, I'm not down here. This is not where I'm at. I'm here. This is the, not here. Here. Okay. So pay attention. Like watch, watch video, watch zooms and watch videos that people do on, you know, a selfie type of video. Okay. Even photographs. I see people do it all the time. They're like, you know, we're doing a selfie picture, but they're looking, you can totally see that their eyes are off of the lens. They're looking at the reflection of the image that comes back on their phone. A better way to do it, well, there's two ways to do it. Number one, just look at the lens and, and you have to force yourself to do it because you're naturally going to be pulled down below, you're going to be pulled down to where the images are. But you need to be looking into the lens of the camera, okay? And one way to do it is either just, you know, know that that's what you got to do, or you use this side where you don't have any reflection of yourself and you're forced to look here into, or here, excuse me, into the lens of the camera. You will have, you, you're, you'll have more views. You'll have a better connection. Your, your audience is going to feel more connected to you. Uh, but I, I seriously, I did this, I did it. I did an episode on this maybe two months ago. I, mean, I don't feel like I really need to do it again, but apparently I do because just in the last three, four days, I can't even tell you how many I'm like, oh, and some of them were bad. Like, they're just like, hey, man, it's great. It's super, super great to connect with you. But, you know, and they don't even realize that they're not connecting with their audience because they're not giving good eye contact. You want to be looking directly into the eyes of your viewer if this is the type of video that you're doing. So I've made my point very clear. So watch other people, pay attention. You're going to see it. It's kind of like, if you don't know what to look for, you're not going to look for it. But once you're like trained to look for something, you, then all of a sudden it's like, you see it. Like I had this, um, I don't know what the, the, I had this, uh, crazy blue Audi S4. This, it was a, the, the color was sprint blue, which is not Navy blue. It was like this blue. In fact, my, I brought, brought that car home and my wife's like, wow, that's, that's blue. She didn't like that one. She liked the red one that I got after that. But, uh, you know, it was funny cause I never paid any attention to it. And then I got that sprint blue Audi and then, Oh, I would see the other people that had a sprint blue Audi and there weren't, weren't a lot of them cause it's really crazy different color. But I, I can tell you prior to owning that car, I never even paid attention to that color. But then because I was now trained to look for it because now I own that car. And so, Oh, there's another sprint blue Audi. So it's the same thing here. What I'm trying to do with you guys is just train you to look for things. And, and so they become painfully obvious and you're like, Hey, I don't, I can see why there's no connection there. And the, the person is attempting to make a connection with the audience, but they're, it's a total miss because they're down here. And in my case, it would be over here because my screen's over here. Just you're, I promise you, you're going to get better results, more views, more engagement, people hanging around longer. And you get, you know, you'll, the, 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 the result that you're looking to get out of your video, you'll be more likely to get that result because you're giving good eye contact. So anyhow, that's my message for the day. I know I probably repeated myself. And hey, if you didn't see the previous one I did on this about a month and a half ago or whenever I did it, now you got this one and now start paying attention and then look into the camera lens. You're going to just it's going to be way better off for you. So, all right. So if you're on my podcast, appreciate you guys. If you're on my YouTube, thank you as well. All the details on this episode and other things to help you succeed in network marketing are right here at toddfalcone.com forward slash episode 273. That's dot com forward slash episode 273. Give good eye contact on video. We'll see you next time.